Hey, Jules. I knew I'd find you here. Surprise! You found me. Right where I'm always at. <laughs> yeah. Everything good around here? Just got to the chase already. Okay, fine. I've been hearing about these upgrades of yours. Lexa told me you gave her 5G Wi-Fi capabilities. Is this true? I will not confirm nor deny that. Well, anyways, I was thinking maybe you could give me an upgrade. Sure. You thinking laser eyes? Hand blasters? Boot jets? Actually, do you think you could upgrade my helmet so I can subscribe and watch Newscape Pro from the comfort of my own head? Not the first upgrade that comes to mind, but I think we can make it happen. Awesome. Much obliged. Here's a good spot to... Huh? Mandalorian, what are you doing here? I heard you're working for John Jones. Does that mean we're enemies? On the contrary, I want to fight alongside you. Let's try and... <laughs> so, Menace, still on my side? Aye, let's fight these Cretans. So, you defeated one of these creatures before? Yeah, it was a difficult fight though, and not two at once. Well, there's a first time for everything. Huh, what's it doing? Is that the hand of the creature you slaughtered? Huh, looks like they want you to take it. It's yours. Do you understand their language? Can you talk to them? You don't need to speak a language to understand a warrior. They will not fight. Go on. Take it. Thank you. Why did they do that? Seems to be their sportsmanlike qualities. I didn't believe Maeve when she told me, but they are intelligent creatures, with a sort of honor to them. In the hand? Don't suppose they want me to eat it? Take it as a trophy, if you will. Might be useful at some point. Wonder if John Jones knew this would backfire on him. Don't think he planned for it, but we shall take advantage of it regardless. That we will. So, Menace, you said there was another person who wanted to join us. Who was this person? She goes by the name of Lynx. She can hold her own, that one. Would be useful. Where can I find her? I met her at Salty Towers. But I have to say, it's best I don't go with you. If we're seen accompanying each other, it will be bad for the both of us. Right. Then why don't you go regroup with the others? There's Lexa and Jules. They should be heading north from here. You'll be able to find them along the way. Very well. Good luck on your venture, Mandalorian. Right, you too. Hmm, so this girl is called Lynx. <sighs> Not really much to go off of. This would be a good opportunity to contact the chief. This is Spartan 117. Nice to know you're alive. Same for you. Did you manage to save your friends? Uh, technically. The good news is they're safe. The girl and the child. So what next? Next, we recruit an army. Then we take on... Ah! 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 <sighs> That's a nice face you have there. How peculiar. I came to find this mysterious Lynx, but instead, I found myself the Mandalorian. Another one of John Jones' henchmen, I presume. I can assure you I am no henchman. No, I am something more. <laughs> Now then, 
Let's see how this works. Hmm. Free while you can, Mandalorian. But you cannot prevent the inevitable. Huh. Will this person do good? Ah, uh, they'll just turn against me. I should think about this more. Oh, I know! How about- Ah! Oh, Midas, buddy, you scared me! <laughs> Thought you were like- an actual threat or something, <laughs> you know? What are you doing out here, though? I didn't give you the command to move. <laughs> are you having an internal struggle with yourself there? Trying to fight the control Io has over you? The power that I have over you? There's no reason to fight against me, Midas. You know why? Because your family's dead. No. No. He's lying. He must be. Marigold. Dad. I'm here. I'm safe. You are only a figment of my imagination. My real daughter could be dead. And what if she isn't? That should be enough to keep trying, right? Even so, this control that's been bestowed upon me, it makes it impossible to break free. You have to keep trying. For our friends. For me. Of course, Marigold. I'll keep fighting. I'll- Midas! Hello? Anyone home? Hello? <clears throat> wow. You really can't speak, huh? <laughs> A literal god at my disposal. That's awesome. <sighs> hmm. Yeah! Yeah! Wow. Still nothing. Impressive. At least I know where your loyalties lie. If you'll excuse me, I must see where Jimothy is at. Why don't you get some fresh air and keep watch up here? That sound good to you? Perfect. Jim? Jimbo? Jimothy? Hey! Where are you? Oh, uh, hey boss. How's, uh, how's everything going with you? I came to check if you were here. Midas, uh, I found him outside. Weren't you supposed to keep watch of him? Oh, right. Sorry, sir. I'll keep a better watch next time. You're slacking, Jim. You're usually one of my best employees. Well, it was your brother who was the best. You know, until he died. But you're like my second best. Yeah, and I do apologize for that. It's just... Oh... I've been exploring the island a lot, sir. Exploring the island? Yeah, it's amazing out there, boss. You gotta see it. The sights, the people! Uh, <laughs> I even... I even met this one girl. You met a girl? Yeah, her name's Mary. We... We have our first date tomorrow. I'm so nervous. Oh, <laughs> that's nice, Jim. I'm really happy for you. Th thank you, sir? Oh, and again, I'm sorry for not keeping a watchful eye on Midas. Yeah, well, he's kind of our most valuable weapon here. Right. Promise I won't let you down again. Good. So, what about the girl and the child, Jim? I, I'm sorry? Jules. And that weird goblin baby. You got rid of them like I asked, right? Y yeah Yeah, I did. Are you lying to me, Jim? No, sir. I'm not. Okay, just checking. Other than that, keep doing the amazing work you're doing here, Jim. Thank you, sir. I I should get going. Uh, gotta gotta get back to my post. Of course. Oh, but before you do that. Since you took out Jules and the child, get rid of Demi as well. What? Yeah, she's not needed anymore. Just another mouth to feed, am I right? You got it, sir. 